Seven years after starting at RCI, Yan Liang settles into studio for one final on-air broadcast in Mandarin. Her show will go on at the new web exclusive RCI, but she says that doesn't mean much to an audience of listeners mostly in China. The website in China is under very restricted government control, so not everyone has access to, to, to go online to read the news they, they like, so that's the part I think uh, shortwave is still, um, you know, it's one reliable source for them to get the news. RCI has been around for 67 years with a mandate to provide news of Canada to international audiences. The axe fell hard last spring. With the end of shortwave radio also comes the end of much programming, leaving most employees no work but plenty of memories. Remember when Pope John Paul II died, uh, five minutes before our newscast, and I had to change the, the, record, the, uh, the tape which we had prepared within just a few moments. The CBC says people are dumping shortwave radio for the web. Not our audience, argues the RCI's union. Perhaps one day we'll all be hardwired to listen to the internet. It's not true now, it won't be true next year, it won't be true in five years time now. RCI says one way to stay afloat is to have financial autonomy from the CBC. It says it's suffered deeply any time the CBC has made cuts. The international broadcaster has already made a plea to parliament but has yet to hear back. Meanwhile, the CBC maintains RCI will continue to grow by remaining only on the internet. Rafi Bujikanian, CBC News, Montreal.